Marysburg are two of the three 3-0 squads in the NLL. The Wildcats and Yellow Jackets are facing off tomorrow night. Coach Mike Jewell shares his insight on what should be an exciting week four matchup in the PNC High School Football Preview. Nothing stokes fire like a battle of the undefeateds in league play. And that's what we have this Friday at venerable Charles Buckenmeyer Stadium as Tory Strzok's Napoleon Wildcats are going to host Matt Kriegel and the Perrysburg Yellow Jackets. Button up your chin straps and get ready for some football. Both teams understand what it takes to be successful. Both teams, I think, bring an edge to the football game and to the commitment of competition that's going to be fun to watch. And both teams are oh so talented. Now, a lot of people smarter than me might take a look at this at a David versus Goliath mentality. You got D1 versus D4, biggest team in the NLL against the smallest team in the NLL. There's no way I see it that way. This is a reflection of two incredible communities that have blessed senior groups and tough, tough, talented athletes. Let's take a look at both sides of the ball. When you look at Perrysburg, and we've seen them for a couple of weeks, you see a team continuing to develop its mentality and identity. They are confident, they are strong, they are looking to get off the football and hit you. And Cade Zimmerly represents that up front as a two-way performer. It starts with Connor Wallenzak. This kid is tough and gifted as an athlete. I hear he's going to Purdue as a baseball player. And he continues to set the tone for that move the chain mentality that is Perrysburg as they get ready to hit you with a big strike Christian Gogan to Aiden Pratt. Perrysburg knows what they want to do, and that's pound you off the football and play good, solid defense with a bevy of linebackers. Every time I look up, Luke Jaco is making a play with a strip or an interception and turning things on. I saw Jack Higgins and Zane Zaborowski from last year as linebackers. That is a great group of linebackers that Perrysburg has, and they know the challenge that's ahead of them. That challenge exists with Jared Gerdeman. Okay. Along with Zimmerly, I think these are the two best players returning to the NLL by far and two of the absolute best in Northwestern Ohio. Gerdman's a two-way performer, but offensively, from the fullback position, he's going to run tough inside and get to the edge as well on old-time power sweeps that are absolutely beautiful to watch. His backmate, Mikey Chips, is a talented athletic junior that can block tenaciously and also get to the edge outside with the speed game. Rosebrook at quarterback is going to monitor the system. Tory Strzok will always be prepared to hit you with a strike, but this is what it's going to be. Big, tough, in your face football. Perrysburg knows it and so too does Napoleon. David against Goliath, not a chance. If you take a look at Napoleon's defense, it begins with their linebackers as well. And that's two familiar names, Gerdeman and Chips. They fly the field, they make big plays, and this will be one of those football games where I think we're drawn to watching the ball and watching the different mechanics of getting off tackle and getting up the middle and creating big plays. But creep your eyes up front. I've been mentioning Zimmerly all year, but Napoleon, has a special group of linemen, the type of linemen I love. We always look at bigger, badder, better. And when you get those athletes that are 6'5 and 6'6 that can move, that is something special. But give me five, six, seven of those 5'11, 6 foot to 6'2, 195 pounds to 225 pound, tough wrestling background athletes. That's what Napoleon has up front this year, and they have confidence. If people are shocked by this Battle of the Undefeateds in week four, you weren't paying attention last year and in the off season. Two hungry football teams. They both deserve it. One last time, David versus Goliath, no way. This is the heavyweights. This is Ali Frazier. You young guys can Google it, and I don't know yet which one's going to be Ali and which one's going to be Frazier, but two great heavyweights battling it out. Good luck to both teams. I want to see deep runs in the playoffs out of both teams. Stay healthy.